In this brief demo, we'll show how DataWalk enables you to use external data sources to quickly identify organized frauds and to quickly identify and adapt to new fraud trends associated with COVID-19. With these capabilities, DataWalk can deliver exceptional results and can help dramatically reduce fraud losses. We'll start on the DataWalk Universe Viewer, which provides a visual representation of all the data in the system. This is easily customized for each deployment and can be quickly and iteratively changed or expanded. Each of the icons represents a data set. So, for example, we have a small fictitious data set of 120,000 claims, and at any time you can view the underlying data. We also have policies, agents, and other typical in-house data sets. We've supplemented this with data from external databases and from subscription services such as people.com. We've also added data related to coronavirus, imported from official government websites, which include information about which industry sectors have been hardest hit by coronavirus and the number of active cases in various cities, counties, and states. These sources can be easily identified for each country and can be easily expanded with whatever data you may want to have available for analysis. The lines between data sets are the cross-references or connections between the data sets. For example, for the COVID data, we have used zip code, county name, and state name as common keys However, various other types of more sophisticated rules can also be used here. In the first example, we'll focus on claims and we'll try to identify new frauds associated with COVID-19. To do this, we'll leverage a unique advanced data walk facility that we call Fraud of Tomorrow. The intent is to try and give you an early warning on emerging fraud trends. To engage the Fraud of Tomorrow facility, we open a claims data set, select all claims, and analyze the last 30 days of claims. Typically, this calculation takes a few minutes, and the results are available here in the Fraud of Tomorrow results set. We immediately see emerging trends for the last 30 days for various sectors, specifically hotels, restaurants, caterers, farms, and HR consulting, where the change in the trend has been the most significant. Now we can compare these with the sectors which government data sources suggest are hardest hit by COVID-19. To do this, we generate a connection, and we immediately see that two of them overlap. We also see that the main reason of loss is vandalism, arson, thefts, and so on. If desired, we can review underlying data to visualize these trends on charts. Now we can use this knowledge to adjust our comprehensive coverage score. To illustrate the process, using a histogram, I'll select the sectors with the highest change in trend specifically where a leased vehicle had fire damage. This may indicate a fraudulent method to alleviate financial responsibility by people who have lost their income as a result of coronavirus. I save this rule, giving it the name COVID-19 Trends. DataWalk enables you to easily generate or modify an intelligent score based on expert rules, machine learning, text mining, anomalies, and social network analysis. I can include in my score this new rule I've just created, and just to illustrate the concept, I'll duplicate a current score where we've included other rules from the DataWalk library, customer rules and machine learning, rules based on claims descriptions, and social network rules. I'll give this new rule a weight of five. I select another rule from the DataWalk library, sectors hardest hit by COVID, and using the zip code, the places with the highest number of cases, which may be an indicator of our client's financial problems. I named the score Comprehensive Coverage Score COVID and save it. DataWalk will then generate a new set of scores by applying the specified rules and weights against all the claims data. Typically, this takes several minutes and the results are available on the library panel where we see the highest scoring claims, date of score calculation, and rules that were triggered. Managers can easily assign specific claims to analysts, and analysts have instant access to their own cases, and they can see all the necessary information about the claim and related objects and events on a summary. Then the system enables users to assign a specific action, and if appropriate, perform an investigation on a link chart or on a map, as we'll show in the next example. So with that, we've shown how you can easily generate, tune, and modify rules and scores in DataWalk, to help you quickly adapt your processes to rapidly respond to changes such as COVID-19. In the second example, we'll focus on fraudsters who, finding some of their traditional activities limited by the shutdown, are switching from auto fraud to other types of claims. Of course, they'll do such things using multiple insurance companies and multiple products. 
Here we'll need to use data from external sources. In this example, we'll use fictitious data simulating NICB year-to-date entry files. These are Excel files that are refreshed weekly and can be downloaded to the system automatically or manually from ISO's website. To show the concept of how easily you can add new data sources on the fly, I'll integrate this data using DataWalk's manual drag and drop mechanism. Now we generate a connection using suggestions offered by the system. Then having access to other NICB reports previously downloaded in combination with our claim data, we'll use social network algorithms to try and identify organized frauds. After a while, the results are available here in a new data set. Now we select a cluster that contains various types of products and visualize the first example on a link chart. And we instantly see indications of a fraud pattern where the same individual has multiple claims. Using time series analysis, we can observe the pattern where John Wood was involved in a collision twice in 2019 and 2020. Then just a few months later, in April 2020, he submitted notifications of two losses to various insurance companies. One was for jewelry and the other for water claim. Finally, in May, he used his personal insurance for a bodily injury claim. So with this demo, we've shown how with DataWalk, you can efficiently identify a fraudster who's changing his patterns due to impacts from coronavirus. To learn more, visit us at datawalk.com.